Oh, howdy everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be surrounding my favorite subject, which is summer. Summertime makeup! Today we're doing a summery, beachy, bronzy inspired makeup look. It is definitely not a makeup look that I would wear to the beach. However, it is definitely inspired by that. I just wanted to play with some warm, bronzing, glowing things to make me feel like I am indeed on a beach somewhere. And I am indeed wearing a shirt. It's a little, it's a little tank. It's, it's hot. It's finally hot in Toronto. Blessings on blessings. So in case you're wondering if I'm naked, I am not. Okay, let's go ahead and do some makeup, everyone, and turn this face into a bronzed summery version of myself. Okie dokie, starting off with the base, I'm gonna be using this sunscreen. I'm so excited about this sunscreen. It is the First Aid Beauty Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen, and I love it. It feels like a hydrating oil. It's got a bit of a tint to it, and it just, it's great for those of you with sensitive skin. I feel no pain, no burning. It's SPF 30, and it just, like this sweet little tinted oil just melts into the skin. It feels so good. I'm really, really enjoying it. So I'm gonna put that on as the first layer. Get all protected and things. And then for the base, I've got a few breakouts, X breakouts that we're dealing with. I love doing my concoctions no matter what when it comes to my base, but for some reason in the summertime, I like to just mix everything together in one big melting pot. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm using these three products. This is my MAC Strobe Cream in Gold Light. This is the Danessa Myricks Radiance Illuminating Veil. Haven't used that in a hot minute. If anyone else remembers my full face of Danessa Myricks Beauty from last year during Everyday May, I'm gonna link that here. That was the first time I ever tried this. It's a beautiful product, pulling it out of the archives. It's been a hot minute. And I'm also gonna mix in the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation. I've really been enjoying mixing this in with other moisturizing products and shearing it down. It's quite a full coverage foundation, but when it's mixed in with many other things, you get that beautiful glow, you get that hydrating base. I mean, it's hydrating anyway, but it just shears it down to a lovely coverage. So that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna take a squirt in the palm of my hand of the strobe cream. I guess that's something a little bit different too. Normally I always, uh, well, yeah, I was doing that here today. <laughs> I always put my products on the back of my hand, but I have been putting the products into the palm of my hand or this little bottom area and mixing it there instead. I don't know why. I find it to be a little bit warmer in that region and a little bit more effective when it comes to mixing it all together. So I'm just gonna mix up that concoction. It's gonna shear out the foundation a little bit, adding a lovely glow and just a hydrating finish all in one. And I'm also gonna apply that with my brush. So I'm just taking that in. Oh, look at that, it's so nice, such a nice base. And I'm just going to apply that all over and it just, it looks like skin, but it still has coverage and you're just gonna be glowing all over because that illuminating veil, oh my word. That is a potent glowy product. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just gonna blend that all over my face, taking it down my neck a little bit as well, just to make sure that everything is even Stevens across the face. Seriously guys, I don't know what to say other than the fact that this base is just Stunning. It's literally like my dream summer glowing mixture. It's so good. I love it so much. Now I don't want to go too crazy with concealer. I do want to do a little bit of brightening in my under eye area because the contrast with the blue and purple under there is quite stark at the moment. So I'm going to take my MAC Prep and Prime highlighters. I have them in Light Boost and also Bright Forecast. I'm also just putting those into the palm of my hand. I'm just going to blend that in together. I like the mixture of these two colors put together and I'm gonna put that woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo, <laughs> underneath my eyes and just blend that in with my finger and kind of put it all over the eye as well just to help brighten up JK I'm grabbing a brush but I'm gonna blend that in under my eye to help brighten up and counteract those those sweet little dark blue patches under there Okay, moving on to the bronzer. Summertime just screams cream bronzer to me. I love cream bronzer no matter what, but in the summertime, I definitely like to pack on the extra impact of the cream bronzers. These are the Fenty Cheeks Out bronzers. I actually have a new shade. They sent me this one, which was very kind. I did not have this one before. This is amber. And at first I opened it and I was like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> that's very gray. That's gonna be too gray on my skin but it's actually such a gorgeous contour. It'll look crazy at first. I'll show you guys what we do with that. And I'm also gonna use Macchiato. Done a shade upgrade from Butter Biscuit. I'm thrilled. Thank you, St. Tropez Vitamin C 10. <laughs> so I'm gonna use these 
two mixed together and we're going to create a lovely little bronzer moment. So I'm starting with the shade Amber and we're going to really intensify the dimension on our face. So I'm just using this to really crisp out and chisel out the cheekbones. It looks pretty intense at first, I know, but we're just going to blend this in. This is my Smith 157 brush. I'm loving this brush so much. We're going to use it to just paint a jawline back here. <laughs> Hello, old friend. I've missed you so. <laughs> so it's just a really nice, perfectly shadowy color to help bring dimension back into the skin. Now I'm going to go in with macchiato. I'm just going to use the same brush, which I really need to wash after this. And I'm just going to layer that over top. The mixture of these two colors is actually really pretty. I know like this will look very intense and gray at first. I promise you it'll all blend together in the end, but I'm just really taking my time to precisely chisel this out. I think that's what I'm enjoying so much about using this brush. I've been using the e.l.f. stipple brush for years. I usually just whip it all across and don't really have any rhyme or reason as to where I'm placing the product, but I'm trying to be a lot more deliberate by using this brush and I'm actually really enjoying it. I'm finding I can be, well, but so much more precise. And it just really, really nicely blends out cream products. I, I can't scream my love for this brush anymore, truly. I'm just going to do a little layer on the jawline to warm that up as well. And then I'm going to take a smaller brush and just dip that in and use this on my nose. I'm not good at nose contour, but truly I do this because it looks odd when you're putting so much bronze and dimension all around your face. And then if you don't put anything on the nose, like your nose, I mean, for me anyway, when I'm in the sun, that's where I'm getting freckly. And that's where my tan starts just right across here. <laughs> So you gotta make it even across your whole face, you know? So I'm just taking that, doing a little Victoria Beckham V moment on the tip of the nose and just blending out that cream. I know I, I recently said that I prefer a powder bronzer on my nose, but honestly, this little brush, this is a Luxie 227 brush and the Fenty Cream Bronzers, they they blend out really nicely. Like I don't have issue with them as long as I'm practicing patience while I'm using them. Now for the highlight, oh! Okay, this one, at first, honestly, I opened it. This is the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in the shade Pearl. When I first saw it, I was like, oh no, no, it's gonna be way too white and, and well, pearly on my face. But look at it on here, it is white, but when you actually blend it into the skin, it adopts this gorgeous, like warm, bronzy, kind of amber looking color. It's so pretty. Like it's such a gorgeous texture and it ends up just putting the most lovely little wash of warm highlight on the skin. It's been absolutely beautiful. And to be honest, this base is so glowy. I'm not gonna go in too crazy with highlight. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and just put it on the tips of my face for an extra wash of dewy, glowy warmth. But don't be frightened if you see this and you're like, <laughs> that is literally white bomb. It comes across so much more warm on the skin and it is gorgeous. Ugh, this blush for blush, you guys. This is like the epitome of a summer blush color for me. This is the Tower 28 Golden Hour Blush, which is so perfectly named. It's like almost my dream orange shade. It's a little bit more like pinky in certain reflex, but it's so perfectly named. If you were dreaming of a summertime sunset, like this is exactly what I would picture. It's just so gorgeous. And again, while we're talking about precision, I am gonna take my time and not be a lazy bum. And I'm going to apply this with my finger. And like you would imagine a natural Golden Hour flush, I am gonna focus that where we put that bronzer like across the center of the face, but then more towards the, the center and the apples of the cheeks. It'll look crazy and pigmented at first, but we will take the time to blend it out. And I'm also gonna take a little oop across the nose and just blend that out and it'll make it all kind of blend together nicely. God, I just, I just love this color, it's so nice. And the formula is beautiful too. You can use it on the cheeks, lips, anywhere, which we are definitely gonna be doing today. A multi-use product. We love us some multi-use products here on this channel. Run a little bit on my lips just so it looks nice and monochromatic while we go through and do the rest of the makeup. And it really is a beautiful formula for the lips as well. It just looks like a natural flush on your lips. It's like, oh, are my lips this color naturally? Because it looks like there's nothing on there. It's so cool. Okay, so before we move on to anything else, I'm gonna take the MAC Fix Plus Bronze Light Fix Plus Face Spray with bits of bronze shimmer in it, which is beautiful. I'm gonna take that on my chest too. Woo! 
We are glowing, ladies and gentle jets. Woohoo! Woo! And while we have the Fix Plus out, I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna take a little spritz of this, which I don't know if bronze glitters is necessarily compatible with soap brows, but hey, brows deserve to be bronzed and glittery too. So let's just slick that up, give our brows a little lick upwards. And then I'm gonna take my precisely my brow pencil and just try and do a, a little bit of a lighter, lighter brow. I'm not gonna completely fill it in and do my little brow fluffy trick. I'm gonna try and be a little bit more patient with it and just fill in slightly where I need it. All right, guys, the brows are on. Let's move on to the eyes. I'm actually gonna go back in with the Tower 28 blush and I'm gonna put a little bit of that. Normally I would like do powder here to fix the little concealer moment, but I'm actually gonna take this and use it as a base. It's gonna be completely covered with what we're putting on top of it, but I'm kind of just gonna use that to blend out the concealer area and, and give it an overall, you know, blended in vibe and honestly i would totally leave it here i have i have other plans for the eyes today but i actually think that all of it blended together looks so nice and you could totally just leave it here put on mascara or not if you want and leave it just as a lovely little monochromatic blushy looking look i however am going to dip into the pat mcgrath mothership palette i've had this in my collection for so long and it definitely does not get the use that it deserves and we're gonna do a little bit of blending action using this brown shade right here i'm just gonna blend it all over my eyeball all over and smoke it out as if i am the bronzed sun itself so i'm bringing that all up into the crease and then i'm gonna like really blow it out past the brow just like really blend that all in with everything and i think that this little mixture with the blush is a nice little color combo. I am a fan. And what's nice when you're using one color and just rubbing it everywhere, is you just really don't have to be precise. You can be super messy and quick and just whisk it all over. I got a little far with that. Not that far, not, not that far guys. Don't get too blending happy like I just did. And then take that same shade on the lower lash line. Really nicely smoking that out and connecting it with the shadow that we put on the top. And stab your eye while you're at it. <laughs> Lovely. Now I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs brownie eyeliner and just use that right on the lash line. I could absolutely do this with the deeper shadow in here, but I just like blending out a liner. I enjoy it. And I'm just taking that right along the lashes. This will really help to intensify the look of the lashes, make them look thicker, and I find it helps to just aid in the overall smoked out look in general. Like, look at that lash line versus that lash line. This one looks so much more, like, mysterious. I love it. This will forever be my favorite. I it will forever be my favorite thing, and I always, <laughs> I always apply so much more on this side. I just can't do my makeup on my left eye. My right eye is where it's at, and the left eye just gets left behind, truly. Gotta put a little bit more on this side just so it's even. Even. There we go. So smoky. Okay, now I'm gonna dip my finger into the gold, of course, obviously, and just press that right into the center of the lid glowing and finally i'm going to take a little mixture of this pearlescent shade here and do a little dip in the gold mwah, mwah. and use that to highlight the inner corner of the eye maybe i'll do a little bit of the the brow bone too yes 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 mark jacobs at lashed mascara All right guys, in the final step, to finish up the lips, I'm gonna take the Patrick Ta She's Strong Precision Lip Crayon and just go ahead and add a little bit of extra definition to the lip. I really love how the blush looks by itself, but just taking a bit of a darker shade, deeper nude, and just using that to outline the lips a bit. Never hurt nobody. And just take an extra little dab of the Tower 28 blush on top for good measure. 
And that, my friends, is the finished makeup. I would like to remind you that I am, in fact, wearing a shirt, even though it's hardly showing in the camera right now. <laughs> but you guys, that is it for this summer beachy, bronzy inspired makeup look. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I personally love how it turned out. Again, I would not actually wear this to the beach, but in general, I think I found one of my new top favorite base combinations. Also, this blush is fantastic. I'm, I'm obsessed. And I am absolutely thrilled with how it turned out. If you guys liked this video, you want to see more summer inspired content from me, first of all, let me know what videos you want to see from me in the comments down below. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. You guys, thank you so much for watching this video as always. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you all very soon for a new video. Bye!